If you guys got stuff like this growing in your pond, well, stick around. We're going to talk about how to get rid of that today. Hey guys, welcome back to B&B Farms, where our goal is to try and live with our land and not just on it. As you probably heard in the intro, we're down at one of our ponds today and we're going to be talking about pond weed and how we choose to get rid of it here at B&B Farms. Uh, I know you guys want to get right into it, but before we do, let me spin you around here and show you the mess we're dealing with right now. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but can you see, can you see that down there? Yeah, it is terrible. I have been really lax at taking care of our ponds. This summer it's been extremely busy, and now I am behind the eight ball on it because I am way behind. But that's okay because we're going to use this as a, as a like kind of a testing opportunity. I've got two, two popular brands of aquatic herbicide here. And we're going to do a head-to-head -head competition to see which one does a better job. We're going to treat spot treat sections of this pond today. We'll come back in a week and we'll take a look. So that's enough talking. Let's get started. First things first. Before you can properly treat the weed, you have to know exactly what kind of weed it is. I'll drop a, a link down in the video description for Texas A&M University. They have an excellent uh, 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 website that details how to identify the aquatic plant as well as your treatment options. And they give you a choice of manual, biological, or chemical treatment options. So wide, wide array. If you've got a pond and you've got a weed problems, go check that link out and uh, they'll help you out. So what type of weed are we dealing with here today? Well, yeah, it's a pond weed. Yeah, you know, you probably figured that. But pond weed is actually the name of it. And there's a bunch of different kinds of pond weed. There's slender leaf pond weed, Illinois pond weed, pond weed, curly leaf pond weed, baby pond weed, sago pond weed. There's all kinds. But it's been my experience that it all responds to the same type of treatment, you know, no matter what type of, of pond weed that you have. So for today's test, let me show you what we got. We're going to be going head to head with Flumigard and Weed Trend D. The Flumigard, the active ingredient is Flumioxazin, while the Weed Trend D, that D you see up there stands for Diquat. If you've been around herbicides or, or ponds very long, you've undoubtedly heard of Diquat. Uh, I think, yeah, this is 8.5% active ingredient, whereas the Flumigard is 51% active ingredient. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, how much of the actual herbicide is in the product that you're that you're spraying. All right, let's mix some up. So first up, we're going to use the Flumigard with that Flumioxazin uh, herbicide. We're going to take one ounce per one gallon of water. It is normally a pelleted dry type of material. You can see I had some water in my mixing cups and now it's all clumped up, but we'll rinse that out. One ounce per gallon. Let's go get that out of there. We'll put some water in it. All right one ounce per one gallon and we rinsed out the container to make sure we got it all this is not obviously a very scientific test but i'm trying to be as accurate as i can let me show you whoops let me show you how we're well maybe let me show you how we're going to do this all right we're going to give that a good shake since that was a, a granular herbicide make sure it's all dissolved in that one gallon of water you can see the weeds out here, they're pretty bad, and I know that this is not an accurate test. Okay guys, I, I get it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down to that end down there and spray a section, and we're going to spray this section down here. Try to keep them as far apart as we can, and we'll wait a week, and then we'll see if there's any difference or which product worked the best at getting rid of this pond weed. So, alright, let's pump this up. Things leaking like a sieve. Now well, it's loose, no wonder. There we go. Just spraying on top of the water. You can see it kind of got a, a 
a cloudiness that it gives to the water. That's that flumoxazine chemical in it. All right, I think that's good enough. We've pretty well covered all of that. Let's change out chemicals and we will try that uh, weed trim with that diquat. We're going to rinse this out. In case you're wondering, I didn't just dump that weed killer out. I went down to another one of our ponds uh, that has a problem with water shield or a dollar bonnet as it's sometimes called. And I have found that that flumy oxygen works real well on that. So I went down and sprayed those real quick. I also rinsed it out in some pond water down there. Now we're gonna rinse it out real good just so we don't get any overlap between those two chemicals, the flumigard and the weed turn. All right, now we need one more gallon of water. Okay, so for our Weed Trend D, we have mixed 12 ounces of, of product, that Diquat product, with one gallon of water. Let's head back to the pond and we'll spot spray an area down there. Man, this pond is so bad. I'm embarrassed for you guys to see it, for you to know that I let it get in this kind of shape. All right, here's our next text area. We are test area. We are about 40 feet from where we were down there. And again, this is not very scientific, I get it. I'm just trying to figure out a way to uh, make all the conditions as equal as we can. So we're gonna spray this area right here with this diquat mixture and we'll check it in a week. All right, we'll come back in a week and we'll compare the two, see what we got. Well, that one's in the books, guys. We've sprayed those two test sections, one with that diquat and the other with that flumy oxygen. As part of next week's video, we'll come back down here and we'll take a look and we'll see which one worked the best. Uh, you know, if you're interested in this type of pond content, I'm also thinking about doing a video on algae. Uh, we all hate algae in our ponds, right? Well, I've got the same head-to-head -head chemical type of thing we did today in mind for that. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see how we treat to get rid of that filamentous algae. Also, let me know down in the comments if you have a pond and you're actively treating it for weeds. I'd be interested to hear in what other products or, or processes folks are using out there. I'm always open to learning something new. What else? Oh yeah, this is a big one. When you treat your pond for weeds, guys, never treat the whole pond at one time, uh, depending on the chemical you're using. Like what we use today when we're spot treating, you never want to treat the entire pond at one time because that takes oxygen out of the water when those weeds die and begin to decompose. That's the same oxygen that your fish need to survive. So only treat between a quarter and one third of your pond at a time. Come back in a couple weeks and just keep working your way around it. That way your fish will be much happier and uh, yeah, you will be too. I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. If you like what you saw today, you know, maybe give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you're interested in pond stuff because there's more of it coming up this summer. I'm going to head to the house, get some Red Diamond Sweet Iced Tea. You guys be nice to one another. Get outside and enjoy what's around you, and I'll see you next week.